Do you want a mouse? Buy a house. My wife and I bought a house about four weeks ago. We moved in four weeks ago. Last night, came home and saw mouse droppings. And these mouse that got into the house had a goal. And their goal was to get into our food. And they achieved this goal with flying colors. It was, it was amazing. It was impressive. Now they you gotta get a cat. A lot later than I wanted to be up last night. I had to clean up the kitchen and scrub everything and then seal up stuff. So it was fun. Everyone has a goal. And my presentation today is for the Leadership Excellence Series. It's about goals and planning. Can you guys believe that in two days, it is going to be December 1st, 2016? This year has flown by and it's about done. Some of you might say, it needs to be done. I'm so done with this year. Everything that happened in the world, let's, let's leave this behind and move on to 2017. But I hope in each and every one of your own lives, you achieve some awesome goals this year. Things that you set for you 11 months ago in January. Things that you wanted to accomplish and become a better person. But I'm sure each and every one of you, myself included, had some things that they wanted to do this year that they did not touch at all. I wanted to start a blog. I had 11 months to write one blog article. And guess how many <coughs> blog articles I wrote this year? Zero. Zero. <laughs> I, did not, I did not write any articles. But hopefully each of you perhaps did, did achieve some goals. Maybe you wanted to lose some weight and you went to the gym consistently. Maybe you worked extra hard at work to get a promotion and you're making more money. And perhaps you do have a blog that's growing or a business that's growing, that's fantastic. And perhaps even in Toastmasters, you set a goal to achieve a manual, and you finally achieve that manual as well. If you push yourself to go through the hoops and hurdles and stay on track to finish this goal in 2016. In my presentation, what I like, why the reason, the Leadership Excellence Series are 10 topics to talk about, and I chose goals because this is the time of year to think about your goals for 2017. Like the, the year is about done, you're wrapping up what you're doing now, everyone's getting in the holiday mood, ready to shut it off, ready to eat, ready to relax. Now is the time to sneak away, whether it's an hour or maybe a day, and really pause and reflect on what you want to accomplish in 2017. Because you have a fresh 12 months ahead of you, a fresh year to accomplish some audacious goals for yourself. It could be a small goal, perhaps lose five to 10 pounds, perhaps, for ten, perhaps complete the CC manual or the CL manual, or it could be a grand goal, <laughs> like raising a million dollars for a nonprofit that you're, that you're involved with. You can do this if you set proper goals. I'm sorry to let you guys down. I don't have any secrets in this presentation. It is the basic goal setting presentation. I know you, I know you guys all know what's coming. I don't want to guess what's coming. There's going to be a slide with one on it. Is good. And when it comes to goals, you always hear about this with goals. Smart. Smart, smart goals, yes. There's a slide with smart oh. goals. There is. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. <laughs> There's a slide with smart goals. There's a slide about planning. There's a slide about involving others. All of you have heard this, whether it's from a boring work presentation or maybe Toastmasters before. There are no secrets to setting great goals. But why is it that year after year, we all, all of us tend to miss on a goal or two? Or we don't achieve a goal year over year because we skip over the basics. And this presentation for myself and hopefully some of you might be a good reminder that when you get back to the basics, that's all you need to achieve some great goals. So let's talk a little bit about some definitions. What is a goal? Goal is a specific objective that you and a team wants to achieve. And a plan is a blueprint for achieving these goals. Very simple. Here it is. Here's your slide that you're asking for. Hmm. Characteristics of goals. Very simple. A good goal is one that is specific. So instead of saying, oh, I want to lose weight this year, you want to say, I want to lose 10 pounds this year. I want to finish the CC manual this year. How about I'm going to do five speeches so I could get the CC manual done. I want the club to be a distinguished club. How about we need these four specific points to achieve the distinguished club status. I believe you mentioned officer training and one more award. Yeah. So there are these two specific goals. When you have a specific goal, you know exactly what you're working towards. 
It's not ambivalent. You want the goal to be measurable. And you want to have a number attached to it. I know sometimes, like, if you have a goal, like, let's say you want to be a better family man. Like, it's not fun to make it measurable and smart. Like, I just want to be a better person, like, with my family. Even that, you can make measurable. I'm going to have two specific family events scheduled every month in 2017, which is 24 opportunities to bond with my family. So even something like, oh, it's a soft goal, there's no, you know, nothing, me nothing measurable about it, no statistics, or like, am I bonding, do I find kids down and have them fill out a 12 point survey to see like, how I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> that, at the high level, you can measure, you can measure the opportunities, the number of times or instances that you do something. So I want you guys to all think about that when you have goals that may, may not be as rigid as a traditional SMART goal. You want your goal to be action oriented. So what am I going to do specifically? Not I want to lose weight, but I'm going to go to the gym three times a week, right? Or I'm going to give the five speeches. Or I'm going to save, serve roles in the club to achieve my CL manual. So there's a specific action you want a specific action with the goal set to achieve it. So back to the family guy, family man goal, like I'm gonna have a specific event, specific three hours block, twice a month, to spend time with my family. You want your goal to be realistic. Say that you want to earn a billion dollars next year, is probably unrealistic if you haven't already, if you don't know the basics of earning a thousand dollars next year. You're not gonna earn a billion unless you know how to earn a thousand. You need to start with a goal that you think that you can achieve over the next 12 months. Push yourself, push yourself. Remember to push yourself, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna set yourself up for failure at the start of the year. And finally, time bound. Of course, the 12 months is a good time period, but my biggest suggestion is don't have all your goals uh, do 1231, because that's not gonna work. So if you wanna complete your CC manual, have, like, I'm gonna finish my CC manual by June 30th, 2017. So that's six months, a speech a month, let's say you're halfway through, you'll be able to achieve that goal by that specific date. So implementing goals uh, is, very, is another basic part of the goal setting process. First of all, you want to get other people involved. So if it's a team goal, like Toastmasters, we want to earn our, our distinguished, uh, distinguished club, distinguished president status. It's a team effort, it's the entire club to earn that. Our club, Greater Stanford actually, was recognized at the district meeting as being the club that's almost there, the <laughs> TCG. So talk about knocking a, a goal out of the park. But it took all of us to get involved, to do our, to do the, to different manuals. It took the leadership team to explain the goal to all of you, so all of you knew what the organization was working towards together. Of course, you want to write down each goal. How many, are you, how many of you are in the boat where you're thinking about your goals that you may have had for 2016, but you know <coughs> that there's no paper that has that goal written down on it? Anywhere, maybe an email or text. Like, I have, I'm thinking about like, the stuff I wanted to do and definitely didn't document it. And it makes a di big difference to write it down. And the next part I love, I'll skip that bullet point, is to regularly review your process. That's the biggest thing I've learned uh, as I read about successful leaders and achievers. They review their goals almost daily. And it's funny, it's really funny how much that you need that daily refresh to motivate yourself to stay focused on that goal. So it's one thing to have like your goal posted on a wall in your bedroom, but really going through the art of reading through that goal and remind yourself why you want to achieve it and what's the outcome, how the outcome is going to better you as a person is going to help you stay focused on that goal. I love giving this presentation for, to this group of people because I know that each and every one of you here tonight, you're interested in personal development. You want to become better people. Like I, I guarantee that each of you have like big audacious goals that you want to achieve. You just have to keep yourself motivated on a daily, if not weekly basis to achieve those goals. So my recommendation is not just write down the goals, but set aside a specific time once a week to review your goals and actually track your progress against those goals. And a lot of people say, oh, Sunday night's a great time for that. You know, just you're wrapping up, getting ready for the week. Maybe Sunday night's not a good time. I've, I've actually snuck in Fridays. I take an hour out of my workday Friday to try to review my personal goals. End of the day, people aren't going to bother me, hopefully. I'm at work, I'm still at a computer. 
think about that. Maybe you have a you have a quiet space, a coffee shop that you like to go to. Make sure you're not distracted. You have your half hour to just kind of review your goals and what you've achieved. It's going to make a big difference towards accomplishing your big goals for next year. Planning is very important. So if, let's take it back to Toastmasters. I had a plan. I've been in Toastmasters for over four years, but I finally, finally finished my CL manual, and I've done my fair share of evaluation and my fair share of, uh, of roles and Toastmaster. But I was never getting the manual signed, and I didn't know which roles I needed to be signed in the manual. So I actually said, I actually sat down one night, I took out a card, sheet of paper, and I wrote down every role I needed for every project. And I wrote down the dates of when I was going to do those roles. And I made sure I was signed up for those roles. And every week I would come to the meeting, I would do the role, make sure someone filled out my manual and checked off that card. So I had the plan written in front of me. I knew exactly what I had to get done. And I knew that I needed someone to sign off and that I did that role so I could finally get credit. After four years and hundreds of evaluations, I finally got credit for the five evaluations I need to show the CL manual. So planning is very important. I knew I had the, I knew I wanted to finish the CL manual. But I just didn't have a plan in place to get that 